one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first in the blue corner, from Italy, weighing 245 pounds, Nick DiCarlo. His opponent in the red corner, from parts unknown, weighing 262 pounds, Brutus Beefcake. Oh, the fans love him, I want to tell you. This is Jack Reynolds at ringside, along with Billy Red Lions. Brutus Beefcake, big man. Six feet, four and a half inches tall, 262 pounds. And his opponent from Italy, another veteran, Nick DiCarlo. Billy, quite an impressive uh, young man, this Brutus Beefcake. Yes, he certainly is. He's a superbly conditioned athlete. Stands around six foot four, I'd say, Jack. 200, what, 262 pounds? Nick DiCarlo, 245. And let's face it, Nick DiCarlo is going to have to be at his best here tonight against uh, Brutus Beefcake. And as usual, another tremendous crowd on hand in uh, Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. And I think I'd be safe in saying that probably 98% of the people here in the gardens tonight will be behind Nick DiCarlo. All right, there's the bell, and this match is officially underway. But uh, right now we are waiting. We are waiting for Brutus Beefcake to uh, to get ready. And he's ready to go. Available. And, and there, Brutus Beefcake. Notice he has the top rope. Well, the referee was down, giving uh, Nick DiCarlo a count there. Brutus Beefcake took advantage of the ropes. However, the official... Looked up after a one count. Questions Bruce Beefcake about using that top rope. Once again, this arm stretch in there right now by DiCarlo. There's, oh, there's a good shot of the Beefcake man. Would you say there's a little, a slight resemblance of conceit on the face of Brutus uh, Beefcake, Jack? You'd better believe it. What do they say? There's no conceit in his family. He's got it all. That's it. Crowd right now are well, really on Brutus Beefcake. They uh, every move, uh, every move that he makes right now, the crowd is uh, in disapproval. Yes, you know, uh, you and I have seen Brutus Beefcake wrestling all over the U.S. prior to uh, uh, coming here to uh, Maple Leaf Gardens, but the fans have never seen him here before, and uh, they got on him right off the bat when he came out with that outfit he had on. Well, not the. What, the silver and the black tights, the gold jacket, that look of conceit on his face, a big smirk across his face, and uh, immediately the fans got on him. However, now we see a test of strength here. Nick DiCarlo gets back to his feet. And Brutus Beefcake is going to take him down to the mat. It looks like, yes, down he goes, and the referee is right there. We get out. What a one and a half, eh, Jack? Brutus got the best of that test of strength right there as both men were vying for position and Brutus, the bigger of the two, able to put DiCarlo down on the mat. Right now, it'll be a test of strength for Nick DiCarlo to break this hold. And there you see Brutus Beefcake. Look at he puts the knee right in on the throat area. The referee is right there, calls for the break. And now Beefcake goes right on top and immediately applies a choke right in front of the referee. Now, now that's not too smart, Jack. Referee is going to have his hands full from here on in with the likes of Brutus Beefcake simply because Beefcake knows that he's not going to be able to defeat DiCarlo fair and square. He's going to have to use all his ring tactics and savvy that he possesses. Yes, I think that Brutus Beefcake, uh, he underestimated Nick DiCarlo. I think he really thought this was going to be a pushover. This hammerlock in there right now by DiCarlo. Applying the pressure. And let's face it, Jack, Nick DiCarlo has had, uh, he's had the upper hand in this match so far. Oh, uh, Brutus catches him with a vicious elbow right to the side of the head. That staggered Nick DiCarlo back. Oh, and drives the head into the turnbuckle. And Nick DiCarlo in a bad way right now, Jack. Right now, Brutus Beefcake coming on strong in this match. There's a tremendous shot to the sternum area. DiCarlo is stunned, dazed by that tremendous shot. There's another. Oh, and you know what those armbands he has on there, Jack? That's got to do a little more damage than 
than just the bare arm. I'm surprised he hasn't applied any elbow smashes as yet, uh, Billy. No. Body slam. Carlo up. Backbreaker. And stands right on the midsection of Nick DiCarlo. Holds on the top ropes while doing so. And Roger Francoeur, the official for this one, warns him about it. That's a no-no, by the way. Surprised the referee hasn't taken a stiffer command in this bout against some of the tactics by Beefcake Rudis. Well, you know, so he always he always breaks before the count that would disqualify him. You're allowed a three count to break. If you don't break by four, that's it. And Beefcake has always managed to break by three. The Colonel right now is stunned. He is uh, he has been he's being badly beaten right now in this match. Yes, Beefcake definitely in the driver's seat. Oh, comes down with a hard fist right to the forehead of Nick DiCarlo. And look at the look of satisfaction on Beefcake's face, Jack. Well, the fans don't like it. They don't like it one bit. There he goes into his famous strut right now. Brutus Beefcake. However, DiCarlo comes back with a shot to the midsection. But it wasn't enough to slow it. Beefcake down, now he takes to Carlo, sends him for a ride into the road. Oh, and catches him with a knee right in the midsection coming off. The Carlo coming off the ropes that time, catching the big boot into the midsection. There he goes, using the ring ropes to his advantage. Lutus Beefcake. And you saw the referee warning Beefcake about using those ropes once again. He says, I broke by the count of two. Sends DiCarlo into the rope. Oh, and a beautiful move by Nick DiCarlo. Rolls him up on his shoulder on the two. Oh, how close can you get, Jack? Only a test of strength right there from Brutus Beefcake, able to break that pin or that try for a press by DiCarlo with a two count. You notice to see the little karate chop right to the Adams Apple area of Nick DiCarlo on the blind side of the referee. That's a no-no. However, Beefcake got away with it. By the way, I might add that this would be a tremendous upset if Nick DiCarlo were able to defeat Brutus Beefcake. Oh, what an ever. And right now, Nick DiCarlo fighting back. And another shot to the head by Nick DiCarlo. Takes Brutus Beefcake, whips him into the corner. Moves in again. Takes Beefcake now, sends him for a ride into the ropes. And Nick DiCarlo now with the abdominal stretch. Jack could be all over right here. Right now, referee Fournier checking with Brutus. Brutus says no. DiCarlo applying the pressure, the abdominal stretch. That's his finishing hole. Look at that. Nice hip toss in there. Yes, and uh, you'll have to admit, uh, I don't think he would have been able to pull that off if he hadn't used the hair. However, Nick DiCarlo still coming back. Yeah. Now both men exchanging punches and an elbow to the top of the head of Nick DiCarlo. But he staggers brief kick once again with an elbow, Jack. The action hot and heavy right now, the center of the ring. Beautiful takeover right there by Nick DiCarlo. And Brutus Beefcake is stunned. He's shaking his head. He certainly is, because Nick DiCarlo is giving him a whole lot more than he bargained for. However, DiCarlo turns it, I should say, Beefcake turns it around right there. DiCarlo went to the well one time too often, Jack. What an exciting match. I'll tell you, you talk about action. Here it is. Picks him up, coming off, hoists him over his head. What strength this beefcake has. And around, around he goes with an airplane spin on Nick DiCarlo. Oh! Slams him to the mat. That was a tremendous slam in there. The beefcake going for a press right now. One, two, three, that's it. Just like that, Jack. Once he applied that airplane spin, and now we're going to get the official result from Norm Kimber. Seven minutes, 16 seconds, Brutus Beefcake. What set up the win right now for Brutus Beefcake was the airplane spin. So let's see if we can pick up the action once again. On goals, Beefcake.